the, if the structure happens to be three-wave corrective, then that's a good sign, there's a positive sign. However, if the pullback drop happens to be impulsive in structure, Hello everyone, Alessia Arestani is an independent trader and investor who gained widespread attention for a television interview he did in 2011 during the height of the European debt crisis. In the interview, which went viral, Restani expressed some provocative views on the financial markets. Restani has expressed his views on the latest trends in the market and shares his expert analysis with the help of historical charts and data. So, if you're ready to navigate the exciting world of crypto, Bitcoin, and stocks, hit that subscribe button now. Join us on this exhilarating adventure towards financial growth and success. Don't miss out. Subscribe, like, and share today. So recently, the stock market, the S&P, reached a very important target that I've been mentioning now in my member videos for some time. In fact, if you've been watching my member videos, then you'll know I've been mentioning this important target level for several weeks and months, going back, in fact, as far as December, November of last year in 2022. In fact, here's a very short clip. We'll come back. Whenever this goes from extreme oversold to overbought, that essentially is a very bullish signal. It's often a sign that the bear market has come to an end. As long as the stock market here, the S&P, stays above support, key support, then again, I see this as a corrective pullback, a short-term pullback to support in this region. Before we continue to the next resistance, these levels here at 4180, and yes, potentially even to the upper resistance levels here at 4311. As long as the S&P protects this region and stays above this, my higher probability, my higher probability expectation is for the S&P to eventually head to this region. 43.11, which is the 61.8% golden ratio retracement of the entire decline of 2022. That's the first target I'm looking for the S&P, 43.11, but eventually higher. All right, guys, as you heard there in the member videos, I've been mentioning this level and this important target level of 4,311 now for some time. And you can see the market rallied, went up higher to the 4,311 of resistance. And by the way, the stock market has gone slightly above that level. Now, in case you're wondering, okay, well, so what? Uh, what does it matter? Well, what matters is that the stock market, the S&P, has now rallied and retraced. As you can see there on the chart, on that line I've drawn there, that's a 61.8% retracement level, the golden ratio retracement level uh, of the previous decline, of the major drop, the major crash of 2022. And that's the level we reached at the 4,311 resistance. Again, remember, this is a target level. I've been mentioning now, I've actually been expecting this level to be reached on the S&P for several months. So this is a very important resistance. The reason why it matters is, in previous occasions, after a kiss of death, and I remember we had a kiss of death signal uh, back in September, October of last year in 2022. Now, previous occasions, in previous major bear market cycles, after a kiss of death, when the market has retraced all the way to the 61.8% retracement, usually there's been a major turning point, or in other words, a reversal, and then a major drop. Sometimes the market doesn't go all the way to the 61.8% retracement. It only goes back to the 50% retracement level. Uh, but usually in the past, after a kiss of death signal, when the market retraces back 61.8% or about that region there, then at that point, usually there's a reversal and then a major drop back down uh, making new lows, fresh lows, and then a continuation of a bear market. I'm not saying this necessarily means, I'm not saying this will definitely result in a continuation of a bear market, okay? That's not the lesson we should draw from this. However, it is a risk we should consider. The way we should interpret this action on the markets, the correct way we should interpret this, is first of all, not draw assumptions, not draw major conclusions like, oh my God, we're gonna go back into a major bear market, although that's a possibility, but it's not a definite certainty, okay? So all I'm saying is, look, the market has now retraced back to an important resistance level. And I think now this is a very critical, it's an important level that basically will decide whether the market wants to decide to continue going higher and make fresh all-time highs, or whether it's going to reverse now and drop back into a bear market. Okay, so in other words, the market has an important decision to make. It's now make or break. And I think in the next few weeks and months, we're gonna find out what the market will decide. Probably it'll take another few weeks before the market shows us uh, what it wants to do. Now, I'm gonna give you a big clue here. So if the market, here's how you can find out if the market wants to decide and go into a bear market, a continuation of bear market and make fresh lows, or 
if it wants to make higher highs and go and make fresh all-time highs. Here's how you can find that out. There's an important clue you need to watch out for, which is this. If in the next several weeks, if the S&P and the Dow, for example, if the stock markets, if they make a drop, and I do think a pullback or drop in the market is likely. Again, I'm talking about a pullback, a corrective drop. Uh, not a major crash drop. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is this. If in the next few weeks we see a drop and a pullback, which again, I think is likely given how, how much we've rallied so far and we've hit resistance level. So if in the next few weeks we see a pullback or a drop, which is corrective in nature, in other words, if the pullback we see in the next few weeks is made up of three waves, remember guys, Corrective drops are made up of three waves, ABC, ABC corrective waves. Here's the structure as you can see there. So if in the next few weeks, you see a corrective pullback, a corrective drop that is made up of three waves, ABC, that's a good sign. And as long as that uh, corrective drop does not break support, it needs to stay above that, ideally. But let's say the pullback stays above support and has a corrective structure, a three wave ABC structure. Okay, that could be a good sign for the market. It's a sign that actually we're not going to make uh, a bear market continuation. It's a sign that perhaps it's just a correction before we make fresh new highs going towards the 4,500, 4,700, potentially by the end of 2023. Uh, by the way, that will require confirmation. However, if the next drop, if the next pullback drop happens to be impulsive in nature, by impulsive, I'm sure you know what I mean, I mean a five wave decline, a five wave drop. So if the next drop or pullback in the stock market happens to be made up of five waves, an impulsive decline, that's a very dangerous sign. So pay very close attention to the structure of the next pullback and drop we're gonna see in the next few weeks on the stock market. I do think a pullback or drop is likely in the next several weeks. Um, don't get me wrong here, the market could grind a little bit higher. I'm not saying it cannot go higher. It's always possible the market could grind a little bit higher, perhaps to uh, maybe 4,400, 4,500. That's always a possibility. Uh, but I do think the higher probability is now for some kind of a pullback. So pay very close attention to the structure of the next pullback drop. Again, if the, if the structure happens to be three wave corrective, then that's a good sign, there's a positive sign. However, if the pullback drop happens to be impulsive in structure, if it happens to be made up of five waves, that's a dangerous warning sign that perhaps we could start the next leg down, the next major drop to make new lows and a continuation of a bear market, a continuation of, uh, in other words, of the kiss of death signal that we saw in September, October of last year. So in other words, if you're asking yourself, okay, is this the time now we're gonna see the kiss of death get triggered again? Then the next pullback drop and the structure of it is gonna give us that kind of information. By subscribing to our channel, you'll gain exclusive access to a wealth of knowledge and valuable content that can supercharge your financial journey. Hit that like button to show your support and let us know you appreciate the quality information we provide. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends, family, and fellow enthusiasts. Together, we can empower one another and create a vibrant community of like-minded individuals. Thank you.